Forget India, Pakistan and Australia, England. This is cricket's oldest rivalry. Canada versus the United States was the first international cricket match back in 1844. Up to 20,000 people attended a two-day match in New York. There weren't quite as many at the ICC World's 2020 qualifiers in Abu Dhabi. With many expats and semi-professionals in the teams, it's hard to recreate the same rivalry as sports such as ice hockey. Obviously it's tough with different languages. You know, we've got seven different countries represented in terms of background. So it is a bit tougher for us, but uh, we've done, we've played together for a while now. So we have that sense of belonging, sense of uh, pride in, in playing for the red, red and whites. Well, I'm originally from Jamaica. I'm living in Florida right now. I operate, um, operate a, a exterminating company out of Florida. So it's kind of hard to um, actually work for yourself and go out there and get the, the actual training that you would need. Back in 1844, Canada won by 23 runs. This time, the US prevailed, reaching the target with just one ball to spare. Canada and the United States are just two of the sides here in the UAE. Teams have travelled as far and wide as Hong Kong, Afghanistan, Denmark and Kenya. And they're all battling for a place in Bangladesh next year. While the hosts UAE have not travelled far, their players have. Most are originally from the subcontinent and there's not a single Emirati in this squad. I think we have to take it to the school grassroots and where we can develop more. There are lots of uh, Emiratis who are playing, but then they have to join the group and you know keep working hard and definitely love to have them in the team. They've made a good start by winning their opening match against Uganda by eight wickets. Perhaps sealing a place in Bangladesh will help enhance the local interest. Richard Parr, Al Jazeera, Abu Dhabi.